The lunatic is in the garden. Bow wow. Now I know that some of you will have absolutely no idea what that opening reference was about. If you're one of those people, simply tweet a link to this video using the hashtag Clueless. If however you know what that opening reference was, tweet a link to this video using the hashtag AwesomeOldWoman. Now then, this week I've been doing some weeding. A lot of weeding. Many hours of weeding. I've managed to weed this entire half of the garden. I've weeded under the apple spindles. By the way, look at this Alison. This is last year's and shows how mild our winter has been. I've weeded the raised beds. I've weeded this border at the back. And I've even weeded Soft Fruit City. Did you notice anything there? Did you notice something a little bit different? If you spotted what was different, text YES to T-I-T-L-I. If you didn't spot what was different, text NO to T-I-T-L-I. -T and if you're completely clueless about what's going on, text Tiddly has a small armadillo to your best friend. Now, let me give you a little clue. And there we are, Strawberry Patch 2.0 with improved user interface and enhanced security. That's right, the strawberry patch is no more. Because as I was weeding in Soft Fruit City, I thought, a space here for my strawberries. So I can put my strawberries in here, and I've taken about 15 of the 30 odd plants I had, and they're now safely locked away in that giant fruit cage. That means I've got more raised bed space to grow veggies. Now, Titley's busy garden with 50% more veg space. You can't afford to miss it. I mean, I could grow some extra veg in there, like maybe some potatoes. Or I could raise a dwarf goat. No, I think I'll stick with the potato-based options. Before I decide what I'm going to do with that, I just want to show you what's happening with my fruit trees. My pears in blossom, as is my plum tree. And based on last year's experience of my fruit being attacked by what I think was pear midge, which apparently lives in the soil beneath the pear tree, I wrapped the base of my tree in a flypaper. And it's been very effective at catching flies. That's what flypaper does. Now, I'm going to go over there. Behind me is the second of the boxes that I found alongside the house. And I'm going to use this to plant a clematis. Now this pot has been soaking in a bucket of water for about 20 minutes. It's a variety called Helsingborg, which gives these lovely purple flowers. Is that noise? Anyway, apparently it's supposed to be good for growing in a pot. There's my pot. So I shall create an appropriately sized hole in the middle of this compost. Just check that's deep enough. That's deep enough, all right. Remove it from its pot. And here you come. Oh, lovely roots. I'm always glad when I see a, a potted plant with a good root system on it. It means it's got a good chance of doing well. And there we are. It'll need extra support as it grows, obviously, but I can do that later. Now I'm not going to water in the box just yet because there's something else I want to do first. I want to weed first. Confused? You know exactly what to do. At various points around the garden I have some hyacinth, but the problem is that the slugs love them. Hello cat. Have you come to terrorise me again? Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Is there nothing else you can do except meow? Anyway, the plan is the plan is to take these hyacinths, are you listening? The plan is to take the, the plan is to take these hyacinths, dig them up and put them in that box because they'll be a lot safer there for next year. And I'll put my builder's bum away as well. 
Do, 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 do. Dig deep. There's three. I'll just go and collect the others. Well, I think I got them all. Had a bit of an accident with this one, but hey ho. Just going to give them a rinse in some water. Just to see what state the bulbs are in. Make sure there's no slugs attached to them. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then I can plant them nice and deep in this pot. I'm going to plant them up until where the white bit starts. They're nice and deep. Alright, that's one side done. I'll see if I can fit the remaining bulbs on the other side. They fit. And now I'll water this entire box, give it a really good soak. So the hope is that come next spring I'll have a lovely display of hyacinth in here and they won't all get eaten by the slugs and snails. What's next? I know. <coughs> Yet more weeding. I need to get some weeds out of here. Like, there's a strawberry plant. What's a strawberry plant doing in here? And there's some other things, like this, which is all over the garden. That. You see, to those of you who said you'd like to see me weeding, you should be careful what you wish for. It's taken me about 45 minutes to clear the weeds out of here. You wouldn't imagine there would be so much weed in such a small area. And I found another hyacinth bulb in amongst there as well. He can go and join his buddies when I've given him a clean. Well that's all about... that's all about... no, that's about all. That's about all I've got time for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm off to have a little cycle ride before my bath and do join me next time in Tiddly's busy garden.